Welcome back to a brand new tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to make this game, well in this video series to be honest because it's going to take more than just a single video. Now if you've never used Arm 3D before that's fine, uh, it's going to be a bit more professional than my previous tutorial series because let's all agree that that's not really watchable. And in this game you're going to see how to optimize your game to make it look great for a online game. This is going to be playable on both mobile and PC with two different input systems. Here I'm using my arrows but I can use my A and D key and on mobile you'll also be able to use arrows that will pop up on the screen but only when the mobile device is detected. So it's all very interesting stuff and uh, let's get right into it. So the very first thing I did was made a whole new scene and I imported a plane. That's all I've done. So what we're going to do is add a texture to that plane. It's going to be a road. And since I'm thinking in optimization, uh, I need to have a really efficient way so I don't want to make an entire runway and make the car move along it. Instead, I'm going to have the runway have a, a um, moving texture so it gives the illusion of movement, whereas in reality, we're standing still. So first thing we're going to do is get an image texture for the image, which is going to be a road, and a diffuse texture so we can control the roughness and values like that and we plug that into the output of the um, material now we're going to need a bunch of nodes to animate it because we're going to use the actual materials using attributes in Blender not specifically Armory so you can use this in any kind of Blender file uh, not specifically related to game development uh, so what we're going to do now is to first of all get the attribute node attribute. We're also going to need a, a, a texture coordinate node and we're going to uh, use a separate XYZ and also a combine XYZ and also a math, mo a math node set to add here. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually add the separate x, y, z uh, to the uv coordinate and we're going to plug in the um, the x of the separate x, y, z into the top of the value of the add value and that value is going to be plugged into the x as well and we're going to add the y into the combined y and uh, Finally, what we're going to do is plug the vector into the vector. And this is going to allow us to control the texture uh, using the attribute that we're going to call time, because that's the attribute that we want to control. And we need to set the factor to the value of the add. And once we have that, we all we need to do now is select the texture. So I'm going to open up a texture and grab that. So once we have it, as you can see, it's not well aligned, so we can go to UV editing. And actually, we don't need to go to UV editing, just rotate it 90 degrees, that will do fine. If your texture is messed up in any way, then you would want to edit the UVs to make sure the corners were all in the corner of the image. But in our case, that's fine, so we can go back to uh, well, layout and we can actually test this game because it should be working. Obviously, always remember to save your file. and now you can finally launch the game and boom it's working it's great it's it's scaling the it's um cycling through the uh the uh, seamless te texture now we have to make sure that the uh, road texture that you're using is truly seamless so there's no big seam as it rotates as it animates the texture and that's it for this fake road effect which is great for optimizing especially for our purposes cuz we're aiming to build a uh, mobile and uh, PC um, online game so it has to be really optimized to lower the amount of internet connection required and well make it work better so that's it for this video hopefully you find this useful whether it's for Unreal 3D or anything to do with Blender or 3D in general uh, it's definitely very useful for me and I'm going to use this technique a lot more now that I know about it and uh, I've made a tutorial series on Army 3D before, but I recommend you don't go check it out because you probably won't learn anything from it. Instead, just subscribe to my channel here. I'll link to the playlist to this new tutorial series in the description so you can find all the latest videos if you're watching this in the future. And if not, well, 
make sure to put that notification button on if not you won't get notified when I upload the second and following parts of this tutorial series. See you in the next video and have a good day.